one accessory that you can add to your slatterboard base, it's a headboard. And with the headboard, what we do is you can have a, a wood headboard, in this case, an upholstery. The upholstery, you can have a different materials. We have a cotton in different colors, and we also have a eco leather. And the last addition that we created is also with the linen. Okay, so very natural and very nice earthy colors. Uh, applying the headboard is quite easy. You have this hook, and all our headboards are with Velcro, so you can detach them, and you can wash them 60 degrees at home, so if it gets dirty, you can always get it fresh and clean. So there is a Velcro, what you do, there is a, there is a bolt here, you apply the bolt, you apply the hook in the front and the bolt in the back. Once this is the, the one, this is done. You just grab the headboard, insert it at the back, fix it with a screwdriver, and the headboard is is done. In this case, we decided to put an adjustable and a fixed flat frame together. Also to show you how there is a matching of the corners, which give like an aesthetic here. And uh, so in the, in the case of couples not wanting both to have an adjustable, but one is happy with adjustable and the other one is happy with, with a fixed, you can also do, do this kind of mix and match. Some people might object that this four, these two legs in the center, and also you see from the front there are four legs, it doesn't present itself a nice way. So we have a special kit we, we, we call connecting kit that you can place this like in the middle so you will not see it. There are, it comes with instructions and it comes with two legs and of course if you put it right in front this is not very nice to see. So what you have to do is put it at least 10-15 centimeter on the inside bottom end and 10-15 centimeter on the top end. So let's do this. So the connecting kit is uh, composed of two parts. One is this U-shape with uh, screws and you have the bolts. So what you need to do is place this over the frame and then put the legs underneath and then screw. So to be more practical, what you can do, you can actually easily unrelease these two slides so you can work better. Put this one on top, the leg at the, at the bottom, put the bolt. Here you need a wrench to tighten this bolt very fast, in, okay? And then this is, a, this is a, a feet that you can actually adjust the height. So if you have like an uneven surface in your house, you can actually adjust it so it really touches the floor. And so this area here is well supported. So, I've done this job in actually two minutes, maybe tops three minutes. I, I took away the feet, the, the, the two that were creating a non aesthetics, and now you have one unique bed, only two legs, and the, the leg in the middle is supporting the two frames, and here is free and nice to, to look at. So each slider bed base can put inside an existing bed. So by using the rails of the bed, you can put inside your bed. But if you wanted to use a standalone, we always supply legs that can be put inside this metal plate in the corner. You apply the felt to prevent from scratching your pavement or your carpet. You have bolts, and what you do is you don't need any any special tools to do this is just you put the bolt in here put the leg through the hole screw it and that's it this is fixed you repeat that for the four corners, for the other three corners that you have, 
and you're ready to put the bed flat. The remote control, it's a is a little bit more uh, with more features than the previous one you actually have a little light a torch that you can set on this is when you wake up in the night and you don't want to disturb your partner you can always lose it as a use it as a torch to go to go around the house if you have a dark room you can also have like a what we call it a walk a walk off or walk yeah walk away light which is this one with and the motor has a light underneath so it, show you, it shows you the pavement and where you're putting your feet. Then there is a feature of, for example, I love this position. I can set up this position as being the number one. Let's say I have a two other positions that I love. I can always uh, store these two positions. So one, two, three positions. And these are actually the buttons for uh, adjusting the four motors. The top one is for the head. So it's head up and head down. You have the one for the back. Back up, there is an arrow pointing up and back down, there is an arrow pointing down. Then you have one for the, for the, for the feet, sorry, for the legs. Legs up, legs down. And then you have the fourth motor, feet up or feet down. And that's it. And in the case you want to go to sleep very fast, you have this one which is all motors, all four motors down in one go. So it allows you to go to a flat position very fast. Okay, so you're ready to go to sleep. the motor comes with a frame so you always get the two combined together um, if in the case of uh, the, the, the motor having some problem not working properly also releasing the motor is quite simple you have two latches here that you just remove you just put some pressure here one and two, the motor comes off. You get the, 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 the new one, the working one, you place it back in. You just need to apply some pressure. You put the latches back in. and you're ready to go again.